What is going on everybody and welcome to the 8th Monte Carlo in Python tutorial video. Now that we've kind of compared the two betters, let's just compare them uh, visually within matplotlib. Um, so we still have obviously a lot of questions to answer here too. Uh, take our doubler better for example. If, should this better actually reach say even 10 times his initial investment? How wise would it be that he continue on? And because you know we're certain on a long enough timeline, this this doubler will lose everything or could lose everything. Um, so at what point you know would you be content with your really like lottery winnings? You know, so obviously we have a lot of questions. And what's nice about the Monte Carlo uh, simulator is that you can answer a lot of these questions. So if you just Google Monte Carlo. Um, <clears throat> simulator and you look at like the Wikipedia you'll see the typical example being given of like the Monte Carlo simulator being used to calculate pi. The way it does this is by purely testing variable after variable to eventually brute forcibly solve the problem and it works right there's no need for math or formulas um, besides obviously setting up the program itself so with this problem that we have where we have a lot of questions we've got at least four or five variables here that we need to solve for and to do that um, I have no idea how to even approach this mathematically um, you know with this whole how big of a wager how many wagers if we're gonna multiple how many or multiply how much of a multiple should we use and all that but I do know that the Monte Carlo generator can give us this answer so um, anyway moving forward now uh, what we want to do is just kind of visually compare these guys. So the first thing that we'll do, um, eventually we will get rid of simple better uh, because he's boring. But we do want to like at least see how we can visually compare these guys. So the first thing that we're going to do is, since we're going to be comparing them, we want to use the same va uh, variables like the starting size, how many wagers are we doing, etc., and starting dollars. So with that, let's go ahead and make some constants. So we'll say sample size. And we'll just say 100 for now. Starting funds, uh, we'll say 10,000 since we've been using 10,000. Wager size equals 100, and wager count equals, we'll do 1,000 to start. So that's all we really need to do there. Um, and the other thing that we'll do is we'll come down here and where we plot, so we can tell the difference, we'll add a third uh, parameter here. And so double or better is going to be cyan. And then coming down, here's our simple better. Uh, and simple better, same thing where he plots. He's going to be, instead of cyan, he's going to be K. And if you don't know, K is black in matplotlib. So now we've got those things. The next thing we want to do is we can basically leave all of this x equals 0. And instead of 10,000, we'll just say, well, x is less than sample, uh, actually, what did we do? We called this sample size, I think, camel casing. And then what we're going to have is we've got simple better, and then we've got the other better. Uh, but first, let's fill these in. So <clears throat> starting funds, uh, the next thing that we have is um, wager size. And then we'll do uh, wager count. So that's simple better. And then we'll do double or better. I'll just copy that. Paste. Double or better. And that should be everything we need. We'll find out real quick if we did something wrong anyways. So let me just go to the top. And we don't really need uh, this stuff either. We'll just leave this out. Sounds good, and then just so I can edit the variables, we'll just scroll up. So we'll run this, hopefully we don't get errors. Sure enough, we didn't. So now you can see kind of a comparison of these two, where this is obviously the black is the simple better, the cyan is our um, doubler better. I mean, you can visually just see how, how superior these options are. But again, it's only more superior if you're looking at it you know, on the long-term scale. So if you look at it here, you can see that depending on the number of wagers that you're doing, if you're doing a very, very small amount of wagers, it might make more sense to be the simple better. But as you can see pretty quickly, it, the doubler better starts pulling away. And really all of these guys are still in the game sort of. So as they continue going up, um, 
you know, the simple better only has the opportunity of getting, you know, so far, right? So we can close this and let's make a sample size of a thousand and um, we'll do 10,000 wagers. We'll wait for it. You can already guess what's going to happen. Obviously, the doubler better is going to make a lot of money. Uh, the simple better is going to do okay, but he's going to drop uh, long term. And I can't remember at what point we said there was absolutely no life expectancy for the for the simple better, but I, we might actually hit it. Um, so here we go. It looks like maybe a couple of them survived. Let's zoom in and see if any of our simple better survived. Yeah, so this guy actually survived, and he made a, a pretty good amount of money. We've got, like, these outliers, right? This one guy here and this one guy here, and then the rest of them are, like, <laughs> right in here. Uh, but we can see most of them actually did lose money. Um, now let's go back out again. And, I, and then we can see here that after a certain amount of time, we can see that quite a few of our guys were successful up here. Um, very few of them failed. Again, we're still not really seeing a representative sample of how many of these guys actually went bust since we're not allowing them to go bust at the moment really or visually go bust. Um, but we will edit that in in a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys a, a good comparison. At least the guys that ended up you know, here uh, really did end up there anyways. So uh, that's a comparison of the two. Obviously, I know which one looks more appealing to me. Um, that's our doubler better, um, and that just only makes sense because on a long-term scale, at least some of our doubler betters will still be profiting, whereas our simple betters just must lose long-term. So, anyway, uh, that's really all I wanted to do in this in this video. And in the next video, what I think we'll do is we'll fix the whole going broke thing. So for our doubler better, we're only going to allow him to continue making wagers um, with what he can afford, so he can't go into debt. Same thing with a 100 better. It's not as bad for him since he could only go $100 in debt, but he's still allowed to continue on. And our doubler better is allowed to make, say, a $200,000 wager, even if he only had $20,000. So it's not a very representative sample. So let's go ahead and fix that guy, uh, well, both of these guys, in the next video. So anyways, uh, that's what you guys have to look forward to. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.